There is an author named Saifedina Moose who's famous for writing the Bitcoin standard. Which we just had him on the show. Oh, great. And um, he also wrote yeah. another book called The Fiat Standard. And he posited this theory in chapter eight that this religious group called the Seventh-day Adventists, ah, corporate okay. influence, and uh, government looking to obscure the price of the consequences of monetary inflation kind of converged to manipulate our food supply. And I mean, mm-hmm. so Matthew stated that Saifedean Amus understated, underscore that word operative word, understated the case of Seventh-day Adventist being used to manipulate the food supply. Matthew Lishak agrees with Saif, Saif Dion Amos, but he blames and attacks Seventh-day Adventists more viciously. Think about it. What does to understate the case mean? It means to minimize, to trivialize, to gloss over, not to do justice, to downplay the evidences of the accusations. That means uh, Matthew has become the bulldog, the dog with the rabies to attack Seventh-day Adventist and Ellen White. Let's analyze what we have covered so far. Matthew insinuates that he is an investigative journalist and nutritionist. But Safe Dion is not. If I were a defense attorney, I would tell the court that Matthew is not a credible witness. He's ignorant. The man is spreading misinformation, disinformation, lies. Matthew did not do his homework regarding seven-day Adventists, Ellen White, about these issues and accusations. GMO foods, no seeds in actual watermelons, and we know GMO foods poison and kill the body. GMO. I I respect SAFE quite a bit as an economic mind, but he's not an investigative reporter and he's not a nutritionist. So when I began fact-checking that chapter and really diving in, I learned that if anything, he had understated the case. Mm. Do you see it now, friends? So he is going to attack us more aggressively. What is GMO? Simply put, GMO foods are actually altered in the laboratory. Altered in the laboratory. If, and of course, it can lead to poison and death. If I were in the court, I would say, Your Honor, I would actually speak to the jurors. If I were that defense attorney, Matthew is not a credible witness. He's putting lies on the oath. And that is a perjury. It's a crime. This is count one. What does Ellen White say about foods? She does not promote GMO foods. Sister White writes that food should be eaten in their natural state as far as possible. Natural state not genetically modified in a laboratory. This man is guilty of the crime of perjury. Did not do his homework. Take a look at this, friends. That's the evidence. The Lord intends to bring his people back to live upon simple fruits, vegetables, and grains. God provided fruit in his natural state for our first parents' natural state. God provided fruit in its natural state for our first parents as he gave to Adam the charge of the garden to dress it, to care for it, saying, to you it shall be for meat. It will be well for us to do less cooking and to eat more fruit in its natural state. Let us teach the people to eat freely of fresh grapes, apples, peaches, pears, berries, etc., and all other kinds of fruit that can be obtained. Count number one, guilty of perjury. 